So you want to know how to take your photos from this to this, then I'm going to show you my top five apps for editing your photos on your phone. Ah, what's going on guys? So you're probably here for one of two reasons. Either you want to know what cool apps there are out there to edit your photos on your phone, or you're like me and you're just lazy and you don't feel like opening up Photoshop, editing your photo, sending it to Dropbox, downloading it on your phone and then uploading it to Instagram. It's just a faster, easier way. Let's edit on our phones. All right, so the first app I want to talk about is Touch Retouch. Now, when I got this app, I didn't think that it would be any good at all, but it actually is quite amazing. So it allows you to remove objects from your images. So this guy wandered into my shot and I don't want him there anymore. I click on object removal, use the brush and just paint around him, go and bam, he's gone. And it does it without very much or any distortion a lot of the time. It is incredible. I tried it on a few of my photos and it just works great. Perhaps I wanted to take a photo of this landscape without these stupid giraffes in it. Click on object removal, paint around these little guys. Click on go and they're gone. This tunnel, I wanted to take a photo of this beautiful tunnel and this guy wandered into my shot again. Let's get rid of him. I don't want him there. Bam, go and he's gone. Next up we have Snapseed. Now you've probably heard of Snapseed, it's one of the most popular and most famous apps out there. It is incredible and it's free and it's from Google, I think it is, and it just works great. So it covers pretty much all the basics you'd need to edit a photo. So you click on the little edit icon and it brings up all the options you want. You can tune the image, brings up your standards, brightness, contrast, saturation, ambience, highlights, shadows, warmth, you can adjust anything and you simply just slide along the screen, left and right, and it'll adjust those settings up and down to bring the other settings and okay then you can click the app little icon again and adjust all kinds of other things you can add lens blur drama whatever that means uh, details you can adjust the sharpening a bit and the structure of the image and just pump that up a bit um, this is a definite recommended app you need this um, start out your images with this you can edit pretty much anything you want and take it from from zero to hero shall we say. App number three is Lens Distortions. Now this app's quite cool. So it gives you light hits and flares and sort of things that you can add to, to the top of your image. So we've got an image here, you click on Luminary. Maybe I wanna put some glass shattering through the edge of the image here. Now the cool thing with the new version is you can actually add layers, so you can keep adding these. Add a layer, maybe I wanna put a flare in the sky, something like that. Add another layer. What else could we add to this image? Uh, maybe some shimmer. So sort of like light. And there you have it. It's a really cool app to add some cool effects to images without going completely crazy and over the top and adding all kinds of filters and stuff like that. Um, if you just want something basic and some nice light hits and just to give your images a little bit more of a pop, this is what you need. All right, so another app that you've probably heard of is Visco or Visco Cam. Uh, what this app does is it allows you to add some filters by Visco, the company, and they're, they're great. Some of them, they're very common. You'll see them on Instagram. A lot of people use them. Um, it's not the most intuitive app at all. I've been using it for a while and I still get lost in the interface, but their filters are, are quite good, uh, depending on what sort of look you want to go for. If you want to go for that rustic or vintage look or something that is a little bit more faded or black and white, it's quite cool if you want to keep a consistent style along your Instagram feed or along your images. They make these filters for Lightroom as well if you'd like to edit them on your computer and sort of keep a similar style across all of your images. You can actually share it to their platform as well and use it on there. Now the next app that I want to talk about is MuseMage or MuseMage or MuseMagi, something like that, blah, blah, blah. Now, I didn't really know about this app until very recently and I came across it and I was actually quite blown away. It's not necessarily a photo editing app, but it really is a camera app and it, it gives you full manual con control over your images and just helps you take your images to the next level with a bit more customization. So you can adjust everything from your ISO to your shutter speed to your white balance and focus. You can actually do manual focus, which is quite cool. 
Uh, you have these options in video as well. So you've got a video mode and you can adjust everything and shoot like that. Photo, time-lapse, so you can do time-lapses just like you would in the, the native camera app. And stop motion, so this is quite cool as well. If you want to take an image, move something along, take another image, move something along, and it compiles it into video to make it look as if it's a stop motion image. Then they've got this weird thing called magic color. So this is quite cool. You can select a color on the screen and change that color to something else. So say you want to change this color and make it blue or green or whatever which is quite cool. And then finally, blue screen. So you want to create something that like a green screen or a blue screen image where you want to cut out a color and replace it with an image. You double tap that color and it will replace it with an image that you select, which is quite cool. Once again, thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to like this video and hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. I'll definitely be making more stuff. If you've got any questions, comment below, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, anywhere I will respond and create more stuff for you guys. So until next time, cheers.